Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Wink from the Other Brothers. What is Wink? Uh, you have a wine glass, okay? It has some liquid inside of it. Your spectator is allowed to think of some sort of object. Maybe it's an ESP symbol, maybe it's a playing card, something like that. And just by swirling the liquid inside the glass, they are able to see their thought appear in the liquid. Sounds pretty cool. Let's watch the trailer. Hey guys, I'm Daryl Williams. I'm Daryl Davis. We're the other brothers. This is Wink. Wink is an impromptu crystal ball. It allows you to reveal any image, word, or card inside of a borrowed spectator's wine glass. Hey, you guys ready to do some uh, magic? Yes. yes. Right, let's do cards, because those are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I turned the cookie monster into cards for a second. This card is like our eighth glass of wine. <laughs> Here we go. So I want you to see all the cards are different. All of them are different. All right. And now I am just going to go through here and you're just going to touch the back of one with a finger. Anyone you'd like? That one for sure. Yes. Now uh, just hold your hand out for me and go ahead and hold on to that. And you go ahead and look at it. Don't let me or Eddie see it because Eddie's going to be a part okay. of it. You got it? Okay. Now I'm going to put the cards away. Now, Eddie, you have no idea at all what her card is, do you? No. Okay. So, Eddie, now I want you to look into this wine glass, okay? Okay. Do you see anything right now? No. Nothing. Just like your face. Just my face. Hey, pretty, right? Yeah. Right here, watch. You don't know what her card is, but I want you to watch. No. Like, this wine's a crystal ball. Okay. <laughs> what do you see? The Ace of Diamonds? Ace of Diamonds. Is that your card? Yes. <laughs> and there you go. You're going to have your wine glass back. Thank you so much for letting me borrow it. And it is. Thank you. Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> Was that it? Uh, that was it? Yeah. <laughs> You're a magician I win that crystal ball. I like that, I know. So that was Wink from The Other Brothers and Vanishing Incorporated. A couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, it's not only a box, just the DVD sleeve, okay? You're getting the cardboard DVD sleeve, you're getting the DVD that goes inside of it, and then your gimmicks actually fit inside of that. Is it what I thought? Um, I didn't really even know what to think, really. Uh, I didn't know what to think with this, and so uh, getting it, you know, pulling out of the box, I kind of initially already understood, you know. So, didn't know what to think before, but even without watching the DVD and pulling the gimmicks out, I was like, ah, yes, of course. How are the angles on this? Um, I will say there is some angles, okay? Um, and it almost feels just the whole, just aside from angles as far as performance, but then also angles getting in and getting out. Um, the whole thing feels a little knacky. It feels a little dirty. Um, kind of reminds me of something that you'd see uh, Paul Harris do maybe in an Art of Astonishment type thing. You know, Paul Harris I think is very brave with his magic uh, and he really counts on uh, it working and coming together. And, and not that I don't say that Wink is, is not surefire. I think it is, but I think there's some, you gotta risk, okay? You have to invest. Uh, you have to put something into this to get something back out of it, but absolutely there are some angles that will need to be resolved. Can it be inspected? Uh, at the end of the day, there shouldn't be anything to inspect. You should be able to take uh, the spectator's borrowed glass, like if they were walking around with a wine glass, you should be able to take it from them and hand it back to them with nothing to find. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, the video is 31 minutes long. Uh, it features both of the other brothers, Daryl and Daryl, uh, behind a bar counter, like home bar, uh, which is, you know, a setting that is appropriate. 
Uh, most of the video seems like they're speaking to a stationary camera. They don't appear to be mic'd. Uh, there are some close-up shots, perhaps, where one Daryl is filming the other Daryl. Uh, but there wasn't any um, performances on this at all, whether they be live or studio. There was no performance of this effect. They just kind of went into, okay, here's how you do it. And I get that it's kind of a hard trick to film, but I kind of just would have liked to have seen it anyway. Is it well made? Um, you know, actually, in the write-up, they say in the write-up that they will teach you how to make your own gimmicks and they don't actually do that. So they don't teach you how to make your own gimmicks. The only way they would have taught you is that when you pull the gimmicks out, you look at them and say, oh, I, I guess I know how to make this. Like, you would just figure it out by looking at it. Um, but I can't imagine it being made any different or any better. How much practice does this require? Um, just like I said at the beginning, um, there's some getting in, getting out, ditching, loading, ish stuff involved um, and then I would also say that it's going to require a good deal of audience management from you especially if you're performing this for a room or for a party okay so just with that said uh, and I don't know that this really comes out in the video itself but I would say you know what this trick is really leaning more towards a magician who is at an intermediate skill level to advance somebody who's just has experience working a room uh, you know, like I said, audience management with, with spectators, especially if you have multiple spectators, knowing your angles, just knowing your environment, getting in and getting out, I think there's a lot there. And I think um, without some of that advanced knowledge already on your part, uh, this would take a lot of uh, practice. How much setup and reset is there? There is some initial setup um, that is kind of arts and crafts, but nothing that you didn't learn in kindergarten. Uh, and as far as reset goes, it's pretty instantaneous. Your gimmicks should last a very long time, uh, should you take care of them. Um, but uh, it, it, it should fit seamlessly into any of your pockets. You should be able to get in and get out with no issues. Positives. All right, so what are the positives to Wink from the Other Brothers? You know with this, um, the Other Brothers have created a very beautiful crystal ball illusion that is sure to convince your spectators that you have superpowers. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, would have liked live performances, would have liked um, maybe just a little bit more on the video besides 31 minutes. Uh, just It just feels like there could have been more given. There, there's some mention of using uh, other types of liquids and other types of containers. That would have been interesting to see that more explored because really from the video initially, from the commercial, I think most people would just assume, oh, I can only do this with a wine glass. But you could do it with uh, a bottled water, okay, as long as the label wasn't there. You could do it with any see-through um, device that didn't have any sort of um, restrictions. And those restrictions are covered in the video and you'll learn what those are. But I think if they had pitched it more like, oh, you could use a water bottle, um, I think they would probably grab some more people who thought like, well, I don't walk around with a glass of wine. I don't know. So yeah, that's just my two cents. Is it worth your money? You know, it's only 20 bucks and you're getting, you know, everything you essentially need. Uh, a lot of magicians I know do work um, bars and parties, uh, especially like restaurant magic where a wine glass would be available. I think this seamlessly fits into that. That said, who would like this? Definitely people that do walk around in restaurants or who do party magic. All right, so that is Wink from the Other Brothers and Vanishing Incorporated. As always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks, bye.